Hi all. Um, today what we're going to look at is we're going to look at trees. Okay, so we probably know already we've two types of trees. We've hardwoods and we've softwoods. All right, so the hardwoods are known as deciduous or broadleaf trees. You'll see these, these were the ones that shed their leaves and they generally grow back. That's one of the main characteristics of all broadleaf trees. So you'll see any tree that is always bare and you'll see around this time of year the leaves are coming back. They're your deciduous or broadleaf trees. Okay, you'll see here you have your heartwood, which is around the center of the tree, and the sapwood around the outer edge of the tree. You'll see that in the broadleaf trees, your heartwood is a different color to your sapwood. All right, um, your heartwood is generally a bit tougher than your sapwood as well. All right. We also have coniferous trees, which are evergreen trees. These are the trees that do not generally do not lose their leaves. Um, they have them all year round. So their general shape is like this. You see these, you see these up in the mountains, kind of behind the school, um, up around Carey's Castle, places like that. Whereas your hardwoods, you see them on generally on roadways, um, walkways. Uh, they're also in forests as well, but you 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 generally see a lot more of the softwoods because they're grown as um farmers grow them to, to to sell them and because they they grow a lot quicker you'd see the leaves they're kind of piney leaves and they generally have cones on them okay so these have usually seeds or fruit um, whereas these will generally have cones on softwoods you'll see that the heartwood and the sapwood is the same color there as well Sorry, I know I went back on the slide. Um, different trees grow in different climates. Okay, so we've a decent climate here for growing trees, but we can't grow all types of trees here. So, for example, your mahogany, your real dark trees, they don't grow here. Okay, so you'll see here on the map, we've different belts. We've the northern coniferous belt. This is where a lot of your softwoods are grown. So your... Um, We'll say your pine, those kind of ones, the ones we're generally working with in class. If your northern temperate belt, now you'll see Ireland kind of fits into that. In that northern temperate belt, you can you have a lot of options. You can grow a lot of different types of trees. Your tropical hardwood belt, then there's certain trees you can only grow here, and then there's the southern temperate belt. You'll see as we go on that some hardwoods are only grown in certain countries. Okay, so for example, um, mahogany is generally only grown in Brazil. All right. So the reason we only grow certain trees in certain areas is because if they grow into a new area that they're not accustomed to, it can cause devastation to the area. For example, an example would be ash dieback is very prevalent in Ireland at the minute. You might have heard about it. Okay, so it's killing a lot of ash trees. So what happened there was they brought in ash seedlings from Europe to grow in Ireland because they were seeing that they were growing a bit faster. So they said they'd try this in Ireland, but it doesn't grow in the climate so it grows and it actually ends up dying it, it, it's a disease that spreads into the tree and it, it rots the center of the tree and kills all the leaves um it doesn't seem to happen with the native irish ash though so any of the ash that was uh that is native to the irish land seems fine um which is one benefit of it but a lot of people invested a lot of money in growing a lot of ash um that they got from europe that they might have got a bit cheaper and they're paying for the consequences now um you'll see then there's the southern temperate belt so that's down here a lot of australia and south america and the tip of africa and new zealand if you ever get a chance to go to those countries you'll see a lot of different types of trees um in them as well than what you'd be used to here so just notice if you when if you're traveling or when you get a bit older you'll see in different countries a lot of different trees are growing hardwoods versus softwoods okay so uh hardwoods broadleaf trees they like they grow in the temperate or tropical belt and softwoods and evergreens they grow in the northern uh northern conifers and the temperate belts so it is fertile soil and it's uh moist soils here for the the softwoods okay so for example ireland has very moist soil or sorry it'll grow in most soils but they prefer kind of a moist soil like so you'll see a lot of softwoods being grown in kind of boggy areas or mountainous areas where the, the soil will be a bit 
more moist okay they'll grow a lot quicker and a lot better slow growing for the hardwoods so they grow 100 to 200 years and then the softwoods are fast growing so 25 to 40 years so for example that's what i was saying about a lot of farmers here grow the grow softwoods they grow softwoods because after 25 years they can sell them um and it's it's a uh, it's nearly like a pension to them as well trunk for the hardwoods is irregular with smooth bark um so you can get all different types of shapes of trunk so you look at any of the hardwoods so the best place to look i think is when you're driving from clamel out to care you'll see a, when you get up to the k road round about there past the poppy fields you'll see a big row either side of hardwood trees they're all ash trees but you'll see they all have different types of trunks so um they're all different thicknesses they're all the branches might be coming out different ways on them um so that's what they mean by irregular and the bark is smooth now you might notice that the bark on those isn't very smooth um that's because they have uh black burls on them from they grow close when any ash that's grown close to to watery areas tends to have that on them so you'll see in kind of more inland areas uh it's or where places there are it's not as close to a river it doesn't have that on them um softwoods then they're straight tapered and uh cylindrical crown then this is the top of the tree it's wide with large heavy branches whereas the softwoods is triangular in shape so you'll think of your christmas tree for your shape of your your softwood tree timber comes in a variety of colors and is expensive it's dense durable um, and expensive again so we'll reiterate that it's expensive and the softwood then it's light in color soft less durable and less expensive so it's cheaper to buy softwood generally um your hardwoods i suppose they're more expensive because they take longer to grow to get to the, the size you want for the boards the leaves then for the hardwoods so the board le uh, broad leaves which are shed in autumn deciduous holly is an evergreen so that's one of the only ones that's an evergreen so holly is actually a hardwood but it doesn't shed its leaves whereas most of the other ones do um then your softwoods narrow needle like leaves which stay on the tree all year larch loses its leaves so again there is there is samples of ones that uh don't meet that criteria of losing their leaves or keeping their leaves for hardwoods and softwoods so fruit for the hardwoods are berries nuts and fleshy fruit cones then for the softwoods sapwood then is usually lighter in color in hardwoods um it's lighter than the, the heartwood so the heartwood is the center of the tree and then the sapwood is uh out towards the edge and then for the uh, evergreens it's usually the same color as the heart so it's the same color throughout so we're going to look at some of the hardwood trees right the first one we're going to look at is oak this is like your rolls royce of hardwood so this is one of the best ones we grow in ireland um or like one of people's favorites in ireland this one can take a long time to grow in ireland as well it's not as common as it used to be um you might have heard of things like bog oak so they find a lot of oak trees in the bogs there used to be an awful lot of oak in ireland uh, it's something people are getting back into growing a bit more of and it's it's a great tree to, to grow um leaf description it's narrow with wavy edges so this is the leaf down here seed description uh the acorn a green cup shaped shell so you might have seen these seeds around that's when you know if it's an oak tree as well timber description it's brown in color with an attractive grain reveals a silver grain when quarter sawn so depending on the way you saw it you will get a kind of a silvery grain from it all right so you'll see these little bits here they're the silver grain on it uh timber properties it's strong highly durable and flexible when steamed contains tannin blunts and rusty uh blunts and rusts tools quickly and it's expensive okay so it's it's hard to work with um but it's a really nice wood to work with so like you might see if we cut this on the table saw the, the saw that i am only allowed to use you'll see kind of a black edge on it you might even see the, the table saw starting to smoke because it's um it's so tough so common uses for are this are furniture and flooring barrels and shipbuilding so all your barrels any barrel that like whiskey is made in or beer used to be stored in they were all made from oak so they used to be able to like for whiskey barrels there's there's people there um called coopers they make the barrels they go around ireland and all these countries making the whiskey barrels um and repairing them so sometimes they leak so they need to repair them so that's someone's full-time job and shipbuilding so it's a real durable wood it, it doesn't allow moisture through as well so that's why it's used for barrels and shipbuilding 
Ash. Okay, this is my favorite uh, Irish hardwood. Um, so this is oval leaf shapes and it has a serrated edge and grow opposite each other. So you'll see leaves like this. Your seeds then, they have keys that grow in large bunches. So you'll see these, they're nearly like kind of, sometimes they nearly look like little helicopters. Um, timber description, it's light cream in color with a straight, open and brown grain. Timber properties, it's strong, durable and flexible. And the timber use, it's commonly used for uh, tool handles, furniture and hurley making and steam bending. Okay, so because it's durable and flexible, we can use it for tool handles and hurley making. Okay, so you have to have a bit of flex in those things that you're doing. If you don't have flex, you'd have a vibration when you're using them. So can you imagine using a hammer and you're hammering away and it's vibrating every time you use the hammer? Okay, um, that's why we'd use something like ash because it's it's durable and it's it, it's flexible so we can use that to reduce the vibrations for us. Okay, the same principle applies then for hurley making. <clears throat> okay, beech. You'll see a lot of these in hedges around the country. So around this time of year, um, it's it's generally slow to come back in colour, but it's starting to these last the last week actually it's starting to come back into colour. Um you'll see it's it still keeps its leaves nearly a kind of a brown leaf and a really really brown leaf and then it, it turns green all of a sudden you can also get copper beech which is a different color it's nearly kind of a, a dark red a really rich rich red um leaf description is dark green oval shape with a pointy tip beech nuts for the seed description um or mast are brown triangular in shape and grow in hairy shells so you might see these on the ground when you're walking around the place now uh, timber description it's light brown and sometimes reddish in color Grain has unique brown flex. Timber properties, good workability, close grained, ideal for steam bending. Timber uses, it's commonly used for furniture, chopping boards, flooring, mallets, and bench hooks. Okay, so there's some of the uses of beach. Lime then, okay. Um, you mightn't see as many of these, but there is a few of them around. Um, it's a green leaf description. is a green, waxy, and heart-shaped leaf with serrated edges and a pointy tip. Uh, it's small, the seed description is small round seeds which hang from the stem and a small narrow leaf. Timber description is pale white and cream in colour and has a fine even grain. Timber properties, it's easy to work with, very soft and light. Uh, timber use, it's ideal for carving and sculpture work, veneer, plywood and musical instruments. So there are some of the things you can use that for. And cherry, okay, so you might have heard of cherry blossom, that was a tree that... That would have been one of the first trees you saw to flower. Okay, it comes from the same family as the, the general cherry tree. So it's light green, long oval shapes with a serrated edge and pointy tip. Very attractive pink and white flowers from orange and uh, forms orange and blackberries. Timber description, it's light pinkish brown when first cut but darkness to golden brown. Timber properties for decorative straight and fine grain, easy to work with but fibers can be quite brittle. And timber use, fine woodworking, veneering, decorative panels, and wood turning. And birch. Okay, so leaf description, light green, small triangular shapes with a serrated edge. Long fruit called catkins hold numerous seeds. So you might see a lot of these around. You'd see a lot of these around. The, the tree can be, um, it, it can be kind of a white, it's nearly like a paper tree. Uh, that's a silver birch, but you'll, regular birch has similar properties as well. Brown, pale or creamy white in colour. The grain is light brown and wavy. Timber properties, it's close grained and easy to work with. And timber use, soft news for uh, plywood, pulp and crates. Horse chestnut, then this is your conkers. So leaf description is five to seven uh, leaves coming out. It's serrated and pointed leaves grow in the centre stem. Conker grows in a green spike shell. So you see your conkers here. I'm sure you're all familiar with these. Uh, tree description, pale white or light brown in colour, straight and interlocking grain. Timber properties is soft, brittle and easy to work with, a poor quality timber. It's used for pallets, crate, uh, crates, pulp wood and occasional furniture. Veneers are often dyed. Okay, which elem? Uh, leaf description is oval in shape with a serrated edge and a pointed tip. Seed description is petal-like wings surrounded with seeds. Brown or reddish with an attractive open grain and strong and dense and difficult to work with needs a sharp cutting edge for good finished tools and cabinet making coffins, boat building, veneer and bench, uh, benches and chairs. Okay, and we'll leave it there for the, the trees because I'm actually out of time on the recording.